Some of you going to sleep and you don't deserve to be, you don't deserve rest. You lazy, you don't deserve rest. Rest is for people who work. You ain't doing nothing. Every day you chilling. You need to know your why, and my why wakes me up every single morning. You don't get it. Listen to me very closely. You can write everything down if you want to. Be brave enough to write every one of your goals down, but I'm gonna tell you something. Life's gonna hit you in your mouth, and you gotta do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knocked out. At the end of your feelings is nothing. But at the end of every principle is a promise. Find a man who's diligent at what he does, and he shall stand before kings and not mean men. Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up, could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. The first level to success in life, listen to me, the very first level, the very first level is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. Like you know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. Listen to me, you know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looks like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. I'm here to make friends. I don't even care if they respect me. I know who I am. Got enough respect for myself. I do not want them to beat me. They're never gonna beat you. They came close to that. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now because I care about you. I'm telling you right now because I've been there. I've done that. You've been in it for three years and you about to quit. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you put too much in it to quit now. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. But this is my time, this is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, ain't no such thing as tomorrow. What does your dream look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. Most people, they raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves. That a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? One is because of fear. The fear of failure. What if things don't work out? And the fear of success. What if they do and I can't handle it? These are not risk takers. 
You spend so much time with other people. You spend so much time trying to get people to like you. You know other people more than you know yourself. You studied them. You know about them. You want to hang out like them. You want to be just like them. And you know what? You've invested so much time in them. You don't know who you are. I challenge you to spend time by yourself. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. When you become the right person, what you do is you start separating yourself from other people. You begin to have a certain uniqueness. As long as you following other people, as long as you being a copycat, you will never ever be the best copycat in the world, but you will be the best you could be. I'm telling you to, to define your value. That everybody won't see it. That everybody won't join you. That everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that. That you are an uncommon breed. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry. People who are unstoppable. And un no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. And some of you right now, you want to be, you know what I'm saying, you want to go to the next level. I want to counsel, you know, I want to be an engineer, I want to be a doctor, listen to me. You can't get to that level. You can't get to the level economically where you want to be until you start investing in your mind. You're not reading books. I'm challenging y'all to go to conferences. I dare you to invest time. I dare you to be alone. I dare you to spend an hour getting to know yourself. When you become who you are, when you become the person that you were created to be, designed to be who you were designed to be, when you become an individual, what you do is you take yourself and you start separating yourself from other people. I tell you to get to a place where people don't like you, it don't even bother you no more. Why? Because you're not concerned with trying to make them happy because you're trying to blow up. You're trying to get to the next level. I need you to invest in your mind. Invest in your mind. If you still talk about your dream, if you still talk about your goal, but you have not done anything, just take the first step. That you can make your parents proud, you can make your school proud, you can touch millions of people's lives, and the world will never be the same again because you came this way. Don't let nobody steal your dream. After we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody say, you can count on me, and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cause repossessed, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. You can live your dream! Twenty fourteen, Shred Fitness. I hope you're ready. Round two. Get fit or go home.